Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy and I want to show you the beautiful new primary elements set. This beautiful set is called Starburst Galaxy and it does come with a bonus bling it color called Opalite. So um, I want to go over the colors with you. I recorded this relatively quickly and I'm going to do a voiceover. I had a very short window of time so if it looks like my arms are frozen they're not. I'm just trying to show you the colors slowly enough for you to appreciate how beautiful they are. So um, the very first color I'll go over with you shortly, but the opalite, which is the bonus color, is a bling it color, which can be used in resin and in acrylic pouring. Um, so that's just an important thing to note. Regular primary elements to be used in resin um, should have should be previously wet down in vivid art fluid so that's where they're a little bit different so this is I was trying to show you the name but you can't see it but this beautiful color is called starlight galaxy and it is gorgeous it's a beautiful beautiful bold blue so um my camera was a little fuzzy at first so bear with me so I'll get a chance to fix it for you shortly um but it is absolutely gorgeous it really really is and I'm already thinking how beautiful some of these would go together so if you have um, if you have ideas for color combinations feel feel free to put them in the comments but look at that isn't that just beautiful it's super beautiful so, so keep in mind with color art you can save 20% off using Mandy 1120 uh, the code is in the description box below and so is the link for color art and that applies to anything on the website, not just the new set. Um, so this is a really beautiful new set. I'm really excited to get to use these colors. And next up is Amber Wing. And it's a super beautiful color. Pardon my slowness. I'm kind of cleaning up as I go so I don't make a huge mess. And... Um, Amber Wing is... It's, um, it kind of reminds me of, um, it's not the same shade as Firefly, but if you've been a primary elements user for a while, Firefly was always one of my favorites. Um, and this has some color shifting like Firefly does. It's just a little bit of a richer color and I love it. I can't wait to use it. I love that like pink red shift. It's so beautiful and you can see all the different sparkles in there that shows the depth of color. It's super pretty. And I did have some bumps in my pouring medium so you may occasionally see me go and grab those out. They were not in the pigment or the paint or whatever um, but sometimes when you have pouring medium sit for a while it'll get little clumps in the container you have it in and of course this this is my bloom mixture so this is my uh, untinted house paint and Joe Sonia gloss varnish this is infinity gold which is probably my favorite untinted base um, the Valspar reserve is supposed to be supposed to be the same according to Lowe's but I do notice some seemingly chemical differences it seems to separate more when it sits which is not a huge deal, but um, it also seems to, the colors don't seem to mix perfectly clear, even though it dries clear. So um, yeah, just my two cents. This is Am, I'm sorry, this is Citrine Druzy. I found a, a, a goopy in my paint. So this is Citrine Druzy and it is really beautiful. Um, I was, Trying, I always, well, every time I mix these, I don't know if anybody else does this, but every time I mix these, I also um, start thinking about how I would like to use them. I hope I'm going to bring that into the camera. Yeah. So it's almost like a topaz gold. It's so beautiful. Super, super beautiful. I'm stirring in some bubbles there, so. I don't know if I'll get a chance to um, do a piece today. If I do, then I'll release that video tomorrow. 
Um, I'm hoping I can. It's been a pretty crazy week. It's so pretty. I love it. All right. So I'm just cleaning up. So if you are interested in putting primary elements in resin, just in between colors, Color Art sells what's called a Vivid Art Fluid, and it helps to get those primary elements um, essentially wet down. Because keep in mind, primary elements are dry paint and mica. They are not just mica powder. Um, so in order to prep them for resin, you want to make sure all those particles break down. And the Vivid Art Fluid does allow you to do that. So if, you, if you're a resin artist and you see these and you're like, I would love to use that in resin, you can. You just need to break it down first. Another way you can do it is you can make it into a paint first using Vivid Enamel or Polypore and then um, use it like you would an acrylic paint in resin. Um, but acrylic paint, obviously, you have to use a very small percentage in your resin or it'll cause your resin to set too fast. So just keep in mind, however you choose to do that, um, those are the ways that you would do it. All right, so super beautiful colors. And next up is Fragrant Time. It's a beautiful, um, almost like a sagey, minty green. And I'm just mix, I mixed these up the other day. I just didn't get a chance to film them. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's very glassy looking. I love it. Something oddly satisfying about just watching the paint swirl around. It's so beautiful. Um, so I have these mixed up for blooms. Um, I do have a video tutorial showing how I mix my blooms and um, what products I use in the description box below, if that helps anyone. Uh, it's not exhaustive, but it's an example. So this beautiful color is Tangerine Dream. And at first I thought it was labeled wrong because it's pink and I think of tangerines as being orange. Um, but a couple of my uh, fellow color art artists, when they released their, they, they, they didn't, sorry, my brain is fried. They showed this color as Tangerine Dream too. So I'm sure that there's, uh, a reason for it. And I'm probably just Tangerine ignorant, but it's a gorgeous color. I love the bluish shift to it. I'm really excited to see it in action. This next color is Carnival. And who doesn't love a pop in pink, you know? Look at that. It's like a beautiful hot pink red. It's really gorgeous. And I love the name. Leslie's names for these are always so fun to discover, you know? They're never boring. So beautiful, beautiful color. And... Next up is, I'm forgetting the name, Serenity Rose. Yeah, Serenity Rose. I think this color is really gorgeous. It's like a pinkish peach. I love it. It's, it's like the perfect shade. Sorry, I found a goop, a goop in my paint. I try to catch them even though it's not necessary for me to catch them for this video but if they show up I try to catch them before they end up in a painting because you see that right there that's a goop because sometimes you may not see it in your painting till it dries and then it's too late the goop is permanent so super beautiful look how luscious that looks I love it next up is cosmos And it's, I know I'm not doing a good job describing 
describing the colors the way probably Leslie would, but I think of Cosmos as like a um, like a bubblegum pink, but it's not. It's more of a, Leslie describes it as a pastel red violet, and that's probably a lot better accurate. It has some, uh, like a golden pearl shift. I love it. Look at it. It's so pretty. I found a goop in there too. More goops. You can tell my paint. So what happens is I, I mix my pouring medium up in its own container. And then sometimes it sits too long. Okay, for some reason I recorded these and they didn't record. So let me just go over the last few colors with you. Might be a little less slow motion involved because I have to do them again. So this color, ah, sorry, is Tropical Splash. And I think it is an incredible color. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So gorgeous. So that's Tropical Splash. I can't believe that these didn't record. I was standing right over the camera. I don't understand how that happened. Anyway, no use crying about it. This is Fennel Flower. So I originally thought maybe this was the tangerine color, but because it is orangey. <clears throat> Fennel Flowers. Look how beautiful. Look at that. So pretty. Beautiful. All right. These last two are maybe two of my favorites in this set. I know that they really all are my favorite, but this one is Shadow Moon. I'll probably use this one in one of the first things I do with this set. Look at it, it's so pretty. Shadow Moon, I love the name. It's just such a rich color. It's got like blue and violet and it's so pretty. Ooh, sorry about the blurries. Oh, and there's a goop in my paint. Of course there is, why not? So pretty. Beautiful. All right. And then I'm getting paint all over my hands. I should be wearing gloves. And the last of the set, definitely not the least, is called Sea Dancer. This will also probably be in my first experiment with these colors. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, everybody likes a beautiful teal or aqua color. Look at that so pretty looks like you could just dive right into it all right so that is the beautiful set now the bonus color is a bling it color which as I mentioned before you can use in resin or in acrylic pouring because there's no dry paint in it so this is opalite so it's got kind of the gray pearl base with all kinds of interference color in it. I love it. Sorry about all my bubbles I'm stirring in. But look at that. That would look so cool on like a black background. I think we'll probably do um, a peek of, not a peek -a boo what the heck am I saying? I'm, I'm not going to be able to remember the word I tried to say. Probably do a bloom with it. I'll remember what I'm trying to say when Oh, Beetleback. When I'm not trying to talk to y'all, I don't have brain farts like that. Well, yes, I do. So yeah, so check out the new set. The link is in the description box below along with the coupon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.